Okay, back again, little update. So, uh, we've got this thing screaming pretty good. 120 volts DC. And uh, we've got about 85 watts, 86 watts going in. Down from close to 96 watts or something, but uh, definite boost in the output. 120 volts DC. Got that rectified. Had to double up the diodes and they're still overheating. So I'm gonna maybe put a third diode on that full wave bridge, but uh, so it's going pretty good. So I'm gonna just cover this up. So, uh, one thing I did different though, was I wanted to ground the output coil, but every time I would try to ground one side or the other, the lights would dim. So, now, I clipped on from the ground to just where the coils go opposite ways. So in the center, where there's the clockwise wound coil, and then on the other side, uh, this coil is counterclockwise, so uh, that being the only point where I could ground and not dim the lights, and in fact brought up the lights a bit. Yeah, this thing's starting to burn. Um, so it had a lot to do with uh, the adjustment of that plate, the inside ferrite, uh, the capacitors on the series cap, uh, series by filer, whatever it is. So I'll turn that up. It starts to squeal. We lose a volt or two. Further off. So now we've lost, you know, 15 volts or so. Still doing 84, 85 watts. I'd say the watts to volts is uh, not quite linear there, but um, you know, get that back down a bit. You can hear the toroid ringing. Almost glitched the phone, I think, there. takes a little bit of time for the capacitor to fill up to follow the tune, but now back down. So, 47 nanos brings us back up to, oh shoot! Okay, stinks. <clears throat> okay, well. Uh, anyway, we'll uh, catch you again soon.